Hi, this is Josh from Sapology Blog. Um, I'm once again having storage problems on my phone, so this will be a mercifully short review. Um, <clears throat> assuming I can get it done. Uh, so, tonight, it's Whiskey Friday, um, and we have this Knob Creek Rye Single Barrel Select, uh, 115 proof. This is a selection from Liquor Barn, um, which is a chain of liquor stores in uh, Northern Kentucky. Um, and uh, this is barrel number 6373, um, and it's their second, it's their selection number two. Um, and it has a little Fred No signature on there, though. Um, Knob Creek Rye is maybe my favorite uh, rye from a large um, distillery, large Kentucky distillery. Um, it's on the market. I love it. Um, so let's see how this uh, special selection um, matches up. Once again in a Four Roses Glen Cairn just to confuse things. So on the nose I am getting leather, caramel, and chili pepper like ghost pepper maybe or like a, or like another kind of uh, kind of Indian uh, pepper. Um, and some char in the nose. Um, palette is full bodied and a little sweet. Um, I get like some chocolate covered toffee, maybe apple fritter. I've got an interesting kind of fruit note in there. Not quite full on apple, but kind of apple ish. Um, apple pie or apple fritter, like I just said. Um, uh, the finish, um, kind of mint, <coughs> excuse me, uh, kind of minty, it's a menthol, some leather, and then a whole lot of burn, that's 114 proof, which works out to 57.5% alcohol by volume. So... <coughs> I will say, except for the finish, um, it's actually pretty smooth drinking. Uh, some water does open it up a bit, uh, but doesn't significantly shift any of the flavors, in my opinion. Um, so, if you don't already know, Knob Creek um, is made by uh, Jim Beam. Um, Knob Creek uh, bourbon was originally part of their small batch collection, which also included uh, Booker's and Baker's. And um, candlestick, no, not the candlestick maker, uh, um, Basil Hayden, uh, which was a um, basically older, watered down version of uh, Old Granddad. So, anyway, um, but all the rest were um, uh, standard Jim Beam uh, recipes, but they had different barrel entry proofs and kind of distilled um, in different ways from each other. Anyhow. <coughs> Knob Creek Rye was a um, wine extension for Knob Creek. Uh, Knob Creek kind of took on a life of its own at a certain point, uh, being the most popular out of that group. Um, so they introduced a rye, and I thought it was really, really good. This one is also very, very good. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for it, uh, but um, the selections at Benny's in Chicago are going for uh, $45 a bottle right now, and it tastes like a $45 a bottle American rye whiskey. Um, it's very sophisticated, um, elegant, smooth, Oof, I hate that word smooth, a sophisticated and elegant, um, but flavorful, it's not boring. Um, I wish it was a li little bit more aggressive, um, I know that sounds weird for a 115 proof um, <laughs> rye whiskey, but um, I could have used a little bit more spice, um, it, this, is, this is very bourbon-like. Um, and very uh, kind of elegant. I like a little bit more punch out of my uh, rye, but I'm still going to recommend it. Um, so um, <clears throat> if you can pick up one of these from Liquor Barn or from someplace else, it's probably gonna be pretty good too. Um, I'm running out of time, so peace. Hope you're all staying happy and healthy. Bye-bye.